what's going on everybody? My name is Dennis Barnum and I'm a 3D printing application engineer here at Trimec. And today I want to talk to you guys a little bit about a new material that just came out onto the J5 and J35 platform called Elastico. Elastico is Stratasys's flexible material available on both the J35 and J55 3D printers. So here you can see we have uh, both clear and black available in Elastico and we are also able to mix it with our rigid Vero materials as with our Agilis on the bigger J7 and 8 platforms. So we can mix our Vero with our Elastico on the J3555 to create all different types of shorterometers and even some different uh, more advanced properties such as this polypropylene like material here. So let's start off at the top left. You can see we have a Vero white and Elastico clear mix. You can see this is pretty flexible. And then as we move down the shore list, we can see it gets harder and harder to deform these little sample cubes until we reach, you know, this higher end. We get to shore 95, we get very little flexibility. And then as we get higher into the balanced and polypropylene-like blends, you know, it virtually uh, just a little bit of flex, but not a whole lot, uh, not really a rubber-like feel, definitely hard. And then we repeat that same process with our Elastico Black, and then we continued mixing it with our Vero Ultra White, same as before with our Elastico Clear, and we start getting these gray tones. So you can see as it gets more and more gray, we're adding more rigid white material. And that's why we're getting the color and the hardness kind of correlate here. Now, as you can see, these top three lines are all achievable on the J35. Uh, that's their new printer. We'll link with the description to take a look at the J35 platform. For those of you fam familiar with the J55, you guys know you have two more uh, material op bay options and the access to the Vero Vivids. So down at the bottom, you can see we have our Elastico Clear mixed with uh, Vero Vivid Magenta. And as we go down, we get a little less flexible and then at this last block, we've done a, this is 100% rigid. There's no flex on this uh, opaque purple piece at the end. It is a Vero Vivid mix made from the CYMK selector on the GrabCAD toolbar. Uh, next, this last row, also achievable on the J55, we have clear mixed with Vero Cyan Vivid. Again, the same concept adding more and more of the rigid to get more rigid materials. And then this last piece here, we have a Vero Vivid digital material where we selected both cyan and magenta uh, to make this, this deep translucent purple. So there you have some of the different combinations we can do with Elastico, but let's see, you know, sort of where this applies. So we've got a few more parts over here. We have this Elastico tube. This is uh, pure Elastico giving us a shore A of about 45, upwards of 50, depending on the geometry. But you can see we have some incredible flexibility, constantly returns to shape, and we have incredible elongation at break on these guys. And they return back with no permanent deformations, tears, rips, good compression, the surface of these guys is a little tacky. There are techniques to remove some of the tackiness from flexible 3D printed materials, and we will link to that video in the future. Here we've taken something where we take Elastico Black, and then we do a digital material blend with Elastico Black and Vero Ultra White and we can get this flexible gray solid body while we have this overmolded simulated elastico piece. And then just an example of that on the J55 being able to implement color as well to signify different iterative designs or whether or not products uh, come in different colors. 
using the ability to print in full color is always advantageous, depending on the application, of course. So there you have it, Stratasys's new material to the J35 and 55 platform, Elastico Black and Clear. Thank you all for watching. For more 3D printing tips and tricks, head on over to TriMac.com to learn more.